Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here, and what I got for you today is a review of the Yuxiang 668A8, also known as the Q8 Scout because this is the Wi-Fi version. I believe the Wi-Fi version is Q8. And what I mean by Wi-Fi version, it has a camera attached to it that you can, it's a 2 megapixel camera with SD card, but it also has a 2.4 gigahertz FPV transmitter. Um, since it's 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, you need to provide your own screen for it and I'm going to use my old good old doogie here today to uh, do the uh, FPV for this particular quadcopter but let's go over the quadcopter real quick looking at the quadcopter it feels well made well built it has very bright lights especially on the side and on the bottom it, it is a good night flyer it's very bright night flyer I've done that last night and I'll include a example video of it um, includes, I believe, a 600 milliamp hour battery. If I'm wrong, I'll put the real <laughs> milliamp hour right here. But uh, that seems to provide it with sufficient uh, power for uh, flight time of about six, seven minutes. We'll demonstrate that here today to confirm that. Um, other than that, you know, it's your standard quadcopter with an FPV transmitter. Uh, other things about it, it does have an on-off switch. Uh, being a Wi-Fi FPV uh, quadcopter we're going to see what its actual range is you know it's predicted range without this transmitter attached is 100 meters I believe but advertised with this on it is it's advertised at around 30 meters which is pretty pretty darn short range uh, we'll see if that's actually true we're gonna go fly here and see how far we can get let's go over the transmitter this is the transmitter without the, the uh, Wi-Fi attached um, it is your basic transmitter this is the button for uh, uh, selecting the various rates, the speeds, beginner, intermediate, expert. This is your flip button. It does have headless mode, which you activate by pressing down, I believe. We'll test that out here shortly. And one key return also, which you activate by pressing up on the throttle trim button. Now, it shows these buttons here for uh, camera and video. They, for this Q model, the Q8 model, they are inoperative. You activate the camera and start recording on the camera via the software package, uh, the... Um, app for uh, your phone um, there's a little button on that app that activates the camera uh, these buttons I hear here I believe are for the camera version without Wi-Fi that's out there um, and also I believe you can activate the lights by pressing this button here I, this might be the only button that actually works for this quadcopter in this row here these buttons here are all fake not in an operative they do not work for this quadcopter so let's attach my phone my doogie, actually turn it on, and also turn on the quadcopter. Turn on its Wi-Fi. And we'll turn on my phone. And select that app. This is hard to do in sunlight, folks, especially with my phone. Uh, and there's the signal that I'm seeing. I don't know if you see it or not, but to start the camera, you press this camera button right here. There's the quadcopter's view from the ground. There's the quadcopter over there, and there's its view from the ground. Now I'll attach it to a screen attachment, and we'll turn on the transmitter and bind it to the quadcopter. It's already bound, and I am going to turn on the video. Okay, we know we're recording because we can see the video uh, camera turns green when we're recording. And it's recording to the SD camera on there at 2 megapixel. I already tried that. I know that works. Let's go for an FPV flight using this quadcopter. Or this. Let's see what it does. There's its video. I'm going to try to keep the screen in the view here. But first off, what is its range? I've already tried this. I know what it's going to shut down if it reaches the edge of its range. I still got signal out there. I'm about 40 meters, 50 meters now, by the grandstand. Let's see if I can go fly over to the, the seats over there. That's 50 meters. I know that. So I'm surprised I got that much range. Okay, we're past it. We're about 60 meters. Still got view. It's getting choppy, though. The FPV. 
but I have control of the quadcopter out there at 60, 70 meters, so that's good. This is actually a good FPV flyer with uh, Wi-Fi. Other Wi-Fi FPV flyers are terrible, or um, you would get awful control range, but I still had good range at the 60 meters. I'm not sure if this uh, camera is going to sync up in the final edited version of this video. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of... You can see it's choppy on my screen here. Let's take it out and see what its range is, folks. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was a bit of a drop out there. Okay, still got control. Still got control. Let's see how far I can go. Uh, I'm near the edge of the field. <laughs> it has 100 meters control range. That appears to be 100 meters control range, which is excellent. Surprising for a FPV flyer. This actually works well for an FPV. <laughs> for a Wi-Fi FPV, I'm saying. Okay, let's turn off the recording to make sure we got a recording. I'm going to bring it in close. And land it. <laughs> and stop the recording. Okay, for the remainder of this flight, we're going to look at its uh, flight abilities. I'm going to turn off this... Uh, app. Let's see if we can turn off the lights. I'm going to press the light button. Yes, the lights are off. That's about the only thing that works uh, with the controls. You know, there's, in the advertisements, it says that you can control this quadcopter using your phone, using the, uh, the G-sensor in your phone for flying around and also using the touch screen of your phone. But I've tried that and I could not get my phone to bind with this to operate the, the camera or the quadcopter. It only seems to operate the camera and that's it. So uh, unfortunately um, that part of the advertisement of this is probably inaccurate. Let's test the headless mode and one key return now. Let's fly it out a bit. Press one key return. That's probably headless mode. And it's doing a... I don't know what it's doing. <laughs> I don't know. It's in headless mode right now. But uh, let's come back and reset the headless mode bearing. Let's bring it in. One other thing I noticed about this, there seems to be a dead spot in the throttle. Um, a point where it'll just drop. Then you have to adjust the throttle to regain control of it. I'm turning the quadcopter on and off. Um, with the idea of setting the headless mode bearing. There goes my phone relinking with it. <laughs> okay. Are you on or off? Okay. Turn the quadcopter back on. <laughs> there goes my phone. Regaining uh, the particular quadcopter. Let's go down and check check out that one key return again. Okay, there's one key return, and that's a weird one key return. It actually comes right overhead. I, I think it actually remembers where it was somehow. Let's try that again. That was pretty damn cool. One key return. This time, I don't think so, but it slows down and stops, so it kind of uh, does an actual return to land, or return to home. Let's take it down here and press that again. That was interesting. Now it's going over which way is it going. The wind's blowing, and it automatically does a weird stop where it thinks it's what, where it started from. So this is the first one I've seen that actually does something like that. Let's go up there here. We got a wind, folks, and that's why it's going. It's not coming directly back toward me. Let's try right there. Let's see if it actually stops itself again. That was interesting. No. <laughs> Take control again. We're in headless mode. It brings it back, but you do need to stop it. Okay, the headless mode. Headless mode works. That's pulling it back. Pulling back on the stick in headless mode. Here, those little stops in the 
the throttle. That's that's unusual. Okay, that, the headless mode works on this. And by the way, it seems to have a neat flight time. Let's go back to headless mode or ed exit headless mode. Now we're doing normal flying. Let's try flips. Oh, I don't have power for flips anymore, but okay, this is expert. That's the yaw rated expert. It's not spectacular. That's the yaw rated beginner. Let's see if I can bring it in closer here. Intermediate, intermediate funnels, not much, expert funnels, again these are the expert funnels, so all in all you know for a Wi-Fi flyer it's surprisingly nimble, it does have a little dead spot in the throttle there, but surprisingly good range control range and FPV range too I, I was actually surprised you know we had FPV all you know it was jerky FPV as it got a little further out but I had control range all the way to the edge of the field there 100 meters and I had uh, Wi-Fi reception jerky Wi-Fi reception to the edge of the field when you bring it in closer the Wi-Fi reception got much better no more flip huh maybe yeah no power for flips, <laughs> but it still has power to fly. We'll fly it until it until it drops. Turning off the lights again. Oh no, this is a nice little Wi-Fi FPV flyer. So if you're looking for something under 60 bucks with FPV, this might be your your choice. Okay, there goes the end of the battery. That's the flight time you get with it. Reasonable flight time too. So for a Wi-Fi FPV flyer, I'm usually not impressed. This one I kind of like. Again, this is the uh, Yuxiang A8 or Q8 Scout. I believe it's the Q8 is the Wi-Fi version. Oh no, it was a reasonable flyer, a uh, reasonable FPV flyer too. So, this is Quadcopter 101. I hope you enjoyed this flight. Quadcopter 101, signing out. Night flying with the Yuxiang A8, also known as Q8. This is the Wi-Fi version, but I took the camera off for night flying. Hope you enjoy this flight. There we go. Flies nice. Let's go to expert. Okay, keep in mind I took that camera off, so this thing has got a lot of zippy. Wow, sucker's fast. <laughs> Let's bring it down here and show you that without that camera attached. The beginner's right is pretty damn zippy just by itself. I hear that uh, throttle? There's like a blind spot there. I don't know what that is. But without the camera on, it's it does weird things. Let's try flips. Alright, it's a th flip. Okay, that's enough to show you what it looks like at night. <laughs> Stable this is not. <laughs> Let's see if I can grab it. Okay, again, that's Yuxiang. Q8, also known as A8. Sign it, Quadcopter 101. Hope you enjoyed the flight. Quadcopter 101, signing out.